patient is having weakness on the right side of the body with mandible deviation to the left on the protrusion not protrusion of the tongue protrusion of the mandible mouth deviation to the right side legion side now if we see the, to the mcq over here there is mandible deviation to the left side mandible deviation to the left side and protrusion it means fifth nerve is involved trigeminal nerve mandibular deviation the pterygoid muscle they are supplied by the the, the, tri, the trigeminal nerve so fifth nerve is involved mouth deviation to the right so seventh nerve is involved fifth nerve is involved and seventh nerve is involved and the five and the seventh nerve lies in in the which region of the brain stem midbrain no medulla no pons yes this is pontine stroke mandibular deviation occur in pontine stroke it is not internal capsule because in the internal capsule we are having uh, weakness of the body with facial nerve palsy that are ipsilaterally in the midbrain stroke we are having third nerve palsy and fourth nerve palsy which is not mentioned over here in the medullary stroke we are having the last four cranial nerve 9 10 11 12 so here is no uh, the, the the there is no problem of dysarthria dysphagia no uh, there there is nothing mentioned about the loss of gag reflex the horner syndrome that occurs in the medullary stroke later medullary syndrome in the pontine stroke we are having uh, fifth sixth seventh and eighth nerves so weakness of the body with the involvement of these nerves means pontine stroke